a few days in Marbella. Good break for yourself and the players? Yeah, the timing was great, you know, and uh, the chairman sort of hit, hit, hit us with it and great idea in terms of getting out there, getting together. Obviously, better weather, pitches were really good. So it was a uh, good time and it feels like, you know, we've sort of had a break and come back and really fresh. And uh, I guess the chance for a few players to get a bit of match fitness under their belts, I'm thinking the likes of Madison, who by your own admission was a bit rusty over Christmas, and the likes of John Taylor as well. Yeah, they've all, they, they trained, both trained. Um, John didn't train every day, but uh, obviously Madison did. No, it was just a good time to reflect on the season so far with a few meetings and I had good uh, individual meetings with the players and it was, uh, the timing of it was really, really good, obviously with the real game because of the cup and to get away was was good and they got everyone together and it's very similar to, it was like the, a pre-season break, you know, and we come back and the lads know exactly where we need to go in the second part of the season. Uh, we went through all the different stats about where we've we've struggled and, and hopefully now obviously the proof will be in the pudding. There's a big month isn't it January, the chairman said that in his end of year statement, it's really important you get back on track and, and start 2015 with a, a bit of a spring in your step. It is, it's it's a big month, it's um, obviously starting tomorrow with a home game, that's one of the clear stats that we took from from the presentation I gave the players is we need to start winning more home games, which is obvious to everyone really. Starting with tomorrow and, and and after that we look at the other games. But yeah, it's a big month, but obviously it starts tomorrow and when, you know when you've got a month like we have ahead, we've we've got to make sure we start it positively, get the three points tomorrow. Scoring the first goal, Darren, is that important or becoming more important at home? I was looking back at the stats and it was the twenty seventh of September when you last opened the scoring at at the ABAC Stadium. Is that a factor, do you think, just getting that, that platform, a foundation to build on to get a win at home? I think it's, a, it's again, looking at, at all the sort of detail from the first part of the season. We've scored uh, eight times this season, the first goal in games and won seven games. So, yeah, I think that's an important factor. Um, I think it would give everyone a, a bit of confidence and without going, not going crazy at the opening part of the game. Um, because we have let a, quite a few goals in in the first 15 minutes of the game. And these are all things I'm sure Colchester will know anyway. So um, we've just got to make sure we get the balance right. But no, our home form is imperative. It always has been, it always will be. And we've got to get back to winning ways at home. Mm. And you can probably build on, on what you did in the second half against Doncaster. Yeah. I know you didn't get that crucial goal, but it was a good performance, wasn't it, second period? Well, there was a lot more energy in us. And a lot more, you know, there was a lot, a lot of positives to take from that game. We were on the front foot. We... We got about them, we, we looked like the team that if anyone was going to score it would be us and that's how we want to play at home and that's never ever changed and for whatever reason um, we haven't got to that sort of level of intensity and that's that's the one thing that we did speak about, we've got to get more intensity in our, into a game in particular at home. Of course you know Colchester very well don't you, this yeah. is the sixth time you would have played them in 17 months and yeah. of course the, the most recent occasion being just a few weeks back in the FA Cup. Yeah, they've, they've gone through a, a I said it the same, you know, when we played them last time, going through a run like ourselves and not winning games. And obviously, the last time we played them ended up in a disappointment result when, you know, the last minute was a bit crazy. But um, that was a game I felt we should have won. And uh, I take the positives from the week we've just had uh, and also the, the second half against Doncaster. We can't get away from that. I know we should have won the game and we, we wanted to win the game, but we need to, the sort of more higher energy that we showed in that game. Was, was far far better. And we talked about Colchester, didn't we, a few weeks back, but a team with plenty of youthful exuberance, youth is, is really the buzzword, that's that's the way they're going at the moment. It is, and yeah, that's how they've, they've sort of, that's their philosophy and, and, you know, they had Joe as manager, Joe Dunn, and they've appointed Tony, who I know well from the youth, and that's sort of where they're going with the football club, they've, they've got a big budget for the youth level. Added to that, they've got one or two, you know, more experienced players like Sears, who's had a, a, having a very, very good season. So we've got to be aware of that. But they've got, they've, they have got decent energy in their team. Yeah, it's a danger man, isn't he? Sears in the struggling side. I think he's got twelve goals now, so clearly a, a real threat. Yeah, he, he's. I mean, he's had a, a an indifferent career, Freddie. He's uh, he's obviously started at West Ham and went out on loan, and, and this season, as as it happens with strikers, it's just clicked, and he's he's scoring goals, and when you get you get that confidence as a goal scorer, it, it becomes natural and it becomes a lot easier to find the net and he's he's had a really good season up to now.
How are you looking in terms of injuries um, this weekend, Darren? Obviously, uh, Wazakwani's out, isn't he, on international duty? Um, and Baldwin will be missing long term. But what about the others? Let's, should we start with Cozzy? How's he getting on? Uh, we think he's got a good chance. He's trained most of the days. Um, we, f- we feel that he, he, he's got quite a good chance. We'll, we'll obviously make a, a definite answer on that this morning. Uh, Madison, clearly, he'll be fine. John Taylor, we think, is still going to be short for Saturday. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. But you know, I've, I've, I've got to make sure with John that he's absolutely correct because he's played quite a few games where he's it's not been right, but we've risked him, and I think it's only fair on the, on the kid that we give him a little bit more extra training, and uh, I think he's probably going to be just short for for tomorrow. Would he be um, possibly in contention for Port Vale in a, a week after? Well, we would certainly like to think so. You know, that is thinking. Maybe miss this one, but then be absolutely correct and get another week's training for the <coughs> excuse me Port Vale game. That's that's where we're heading with John, yeah. And with Gabby missing, we talked, didn't we, um, at the end of end of the year about possibly getting a centre back in, depending on what was going on with with Sean Brisley. What's the situation there? Nothing. We're we're, we're looking to to shift one or two out uh, before we can get in, and that's something we spoke about in Spain. And we're we've got obviously Bozzi that can fill in there, Ricardo Burgess. And we've got Sean back now, so at the moment nothing's happening with him. So I think. I'm just going to go with what I've got at the moment and, and see where it takes us. Mm. Will he be back in the squad for this weekend, Brisley? Yes. Sean will be back in the squad, yeah. Mm. And of course, he's he's not letting anyone down, really, has he? In his, his time here, I know he's had a bit of time out on loan at Scunthorpe, but of course, if you if you need him, he can slot in at that centre back. No, we know he's comfortable, and uh, he went out on loan because we had more numbers in that position. Um, he needed games. It didn't turn out in the end as as he wanted it because. They went on a really good run, Scunny, and it, we actually started the run when they beat us here. He, he obviously couldn't play, and from then on, they, they continued more or less winning most games. So he understood the situation. I had a good chat with him uh, during the week, and he's 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 my player again, and he, he'll be treated like everyone else, and he comes into contention for that. And of course, Conlon and, and Rich in signed for for Stevenage this week, and you say looking to get more players out. When that happens, or if that happens, will you then look to to strengthen in other areas as well? Yeah, I think uh, you know. We've just got to make sure that we balance the whole squad correctly. Uh, I think everyone will sort of be aware of who we can get out and who we can get in. But in terms of position-wise, I think obviously if Sean was to go out and loan again, we'd have to get someone else in, and and that's that's that sort of thing that would happen. Mm. Uh, what the goalkeeping situation? Obviously, Joe Day um, now joining Newport. Would young um, Dion come back on the on the bench from now and then? Yes, Dion did very well. Came with us. In fact, all three young lads that came: uh, Dion, Harry Anderson, and Leo were exceptional in the trip, uh, were a credit to themselves, did really well, trained well, didn't look out of place. So young Dion is learning all the time, he's, he's, he's managed to get a bit more work in with Jimmy Walker which has helped him and he's really coming on. Yeah, and how much you how much you go into 2015 with a, a bit of optimism after the, the Doncaster performance? Is it is it time to really set back what happened last year and, and look at this year with a bit more optimism? Well, that's how we're going to approach it. We're going to be a positive in, in, in our outlook to games. Hopefully, hopefully be positive in, in terms of in games. Um, I think I know what I've got in terms of squad wise. Um, we know that we've, we've not been anywhere near the level that we expect. And we know that we're still in touching distance from the playoffs. And maybe in normal seasons that wouldn't have been the case. But it's just one of those seasons where the top four are flying and the rest are. Are sort of been inconsistent. So anyone that finds a consistent level of performance and more importantly results should sort of cement them pl- themselves in the top six, and and that's we're obviously looking to be to be that team. Yeah, and Aaron McLean, I think, has uh, another week or two here, doesn't he? Yeah, two, um, I think, yeah. What have you started talks or had any thoughts about whether you, you can extend that or will look to extend that? No, not at the moment. We're just concentrating on um, on what's in front of us. You know, I have got a large number of strikers. So at the moment we're just uh, looking at what's in front of us, and I think that'll d- develop itself, you know, and we'll see how it goes. Mm. Are you encouraged by the partnership that he's formed with with Luke James in the, the last couple of games? They've obviously, I suppose, the more they play together, the better they're, the better they're going to be. But Luke's come in and, and, and done well. Yeah, I think that, that you know the, the one thing that we need goals in the team, and we need we need to make sure we find a way of of creating chances, more chances. That's the one thing I have looked. You know, it's it's very unusual for one of my teams. I think we've, we've had nine games without without even scoring a goal, and it's a big thing I've looked at over 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 the, t- the period where we've had a break, not just over in Spain but overall. 
and I've got to try and find the right way of getting my creative, what I feel are my best creative players in the team, and that's something we've worked on over the week. And we've talked about the injuries that we, we know about. Any other knocks or, or niggles after the, the training camp? Um, no. Everyone trained on Wednesday, so no, everyone's fine. Yeah, like 